a little while ago, a few years ago, I, I had a very strenuous job, and I would go home and I would get into the hot tub with my rubber duck. And um, I talked to him, you know, and sometimes I try to figure out what he wanted to talk to talk about. So one night this happened. I had come across um, a quote. Longing is a wonderful, very vital energy. It's not the longing that's the problem. It's what you do with it. The longing can be redirected to something greater than ourselves, something transcendent by Florence Falk. And you should remember her because she comes into the poem. I'm in the bath. Island of Soap Suds. You sit there, duckling, on your island of so soap suds in this melancholy, flickering light. Ducks don't need islands like we do. We would be lost on a soap bubble island unless in a dream. You come up to me close as I flounder here, look straight up into my eyes. Please don't stare so intensely unless it is to play. You might be captured by this restlessness, by what I'm trying to soak out of my bones, boring matters. What will interest you tonight? Work, play, love, romance? And he thwacks his tail. You knock your little tail against the tub. That's what you're curious about? Love, romance? Me too. They're pretty tough subjects, and you won't get very clear answers from me, but I'll try. First of all, they're not the same thing, although they are often mentioned in the same breath, in the same song, but not often in the same poem, unless it's a bad poem. Love seems to be the stronger and tangible, the one that lasts longer and which has more levels, while romance is the appearance of an unusual but amazingly beautiful bird that you can't stop thinking about. Love starts out before a person is born and bestowed for years by most parents, and then we go looking for that feeling, duckling for the rest of our lives. But romance comes as a surprise. Feelings and emotions that knock our socks off and which we immediately decide we can't do without. Romance is sunshine, full moons and excitement, while love is a calm sustainer, small duckling. It's tougher, the muscle and bone of life. I'm not going to read all the poem. I'm going to skip to the end. You'll have, you can buy a book and find out what the middle says. And it goes on to talk about the fact that um, people get married for different reasons and fall in love for different reasons. But what about longing, desire, the human craving for romance? All very well for you, Florence, but the rest of us mere mortals would be more inclined to keep those yellow sheets clean and tucked away to use again another summer's day. You see, duck, romance knocks you silly, but love buys the biscuits. Romance gives you jolts that are good for creating, while love does that with subtlety, much harder to recognize. Romance, though, has a big portion of passion, often of sex. I hear you, duckling. Love also can have big portions of both. You, however, are too young a duckling for me to be more specific on those themes tonight. What you have to know is that love seems like water, like the substance of life, while romance is your island of soap suds. Thank you. <laughs>